Hi everybody, Keith Arsenault here for HartfordHawks.com with head coach Jen Rosati as her team gets ready to take on the Stony Brook Seawolves here at the Chase Family Arena. Coach, coming off your first win in conference play on Wednesday against Maine, what did that win do for your team? Um, I, you know, I don't think it really changes anything short term or long term. I mean, we've always wanted to win every game, so it's disappointing when we don't. Uh, we always know that it's tough to win on the road, and we'll take every road win we can get. And um, we feel pretty good about our, how our defense has been and how consistent we've been on that end of the floor. So it was nice to, you know, knock down a few shots and, and feel a little bit looser on the offensive end. But it's also good that, you know, we've been able to keep our focus on the defensive end and not allow that, that to suffer when we're not making shots. Defensively, you've given up 46 points, and that was your worst defensive output mm -hmm. in the conference season. How, what's the key to your defensive strength? Well, I think that our, you know, upperclassmen, you know, especially our juniors and seniors, um, they understand um, the focus and effort you need to put into it every night, especially in conference when everybody's very familiar, which is pro probably part of the reason uh, um, other teams have scouted us well and we haven't been able to get some of the shots we got in the non-conference portion. And they've played, you know, they've played more minutes. You know, th those guys have been out there longer. They're guarding people right. Their focus is right. And they're really setting a good tone to the game and a good example for our younger players about what it takes to defend in the league. Now, Amber Bepko, one of your stronger defenders, has been out for six games now. How is she coming along in a rehab? Uh, much better. You know, we've seen some really good progress this week in terms of her getting back out there, running on it, and putting some pressure on it. So I feel like we're, we're getting a lot closer, and it's nice to see her out there just um, making some shots and getting herself comfortable. And, you know, it's one of those injuries where, you, you know, we don't want it to be uh, long term um, in terms of affecting her in March. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to take care of it. Uh, at this point so that she can return at 100% or close to it and not have to worry about anything but just performing at a high level again. So I feel like we're getting a lot closer and uh, we'll see on Monday once she has uh, tomorrow off and comes back on Monday, we'll see how, how she's feeling and we'll go from there. Now finally, you've got Stony Brook coming in today. What kind of a matchup can we expect uh, on both sides of the ball for your team? Well, both teams have been really good defensively this year. Um, you know, Stony Brook's playing a, a lot of players, so they have a deep rotation. They have some good athletes, and they rebound the ball really well. I do think we'll be challenged in the rebounding department, probably the most we've been so far in conference, so we'll have to do a good job of blocking out and getting ourselves some extra opportunities. Uh, and they play, you know, a tough style of man-to-man -man defense, so we're just going to have to execute well and, you know, really work hard to take care of the ball and get each other good shots. All right, that's head coach Jen Rosati, her and the Hawks. Get ready to take on the Stony Brook Seawolves coming up at 2 o'clock.